Perfect Man. So as I start this vlog out, I'm going to let you guys know in advance. I'm going to take you guys throughout three days of me just enjoying my life and talking about Yu-Gi-Oh stuff here and there. The main thing I wanted to talk about, which I didn't stress enough in the beginning, beginning of the vlog, because I didn't want to clickbait you guys too hard, was the um, pretty much the announcement that Konami's taking a step forward to bringing us what Yu-Gi-Oh was originally supposed to be about, which is holographic monsters. Now, this is a breakthrough for all TCGs, but Yu-Gi-Oh specifically because in the anime, everyone always wanted to play their blue eyes or white dragon or their favorite card and have a hologram pop up. Konami's right now was recently announced earlier this week. They're developing a image recognition te recognition technology. So they're developing an algorithm that when they, for example, see an image like this shooting Rise of the Dragon, which I just got in the mail, their algorithm can recognize that card and what it does and etc. This is huge because it's one step closer to giving us those real life Yu-Gi-Oh duels that we all dream about when we, having when we were kids. We already got, you know, self-owned developers making their own little virtual reality experience with, um, you know, just using the Google Glass and all that stuff where you see stuff and they pop up. Things like Pokemon Go is already a thing. So with stuff like this, bruh, with the image recognition, it's going to take Yu-Gi-Oh! 10 times more closer to bringing us the real life Kyber Corp Yu-Gi-Oh! duels. Um, so yeah, man, I don't want to st stress too much on that. Enjoy my vlog. Without further ado, let's begin. Ice on my wrist, looking kind of cool. Bad bitch with me, she ain't trying to move. Just living a life and pass me this row. It's the Innovation YGL show. Just living a life and pass me this row. I'm finna hit the fucking gym. What's going on, everybody? So, um, this point of this vlog is honestly just test my new microphone. Like it's a new Rode um, video mic, me mic. So let me know if the audio is better throughout the video or worse. And yeah, I'm gonna take you guys on my day. Rocking the Pikachu Gamma Bunzo shirt. And let me show y'all some cool Yu-Gi-Oh lifts and not Yu-Gi-Oh lifts, some cool dad lifts and discuss a few Yu-Gi-Oh things. All right, man, let's get into it. Without further ado, let's begin. There we go right there, baby. Export Fitness. One of the best gyms to go to in Chicago. Very extreme and a place I like to train at a lot. It's really, really windy out right now, so let me know how to, um, this little microphone is holding up with this little wind protecting thing. One of the things I'm going to discuss today is definitely the um, Konami officially announcing that they're going to be working on virtual reality technology. So yeah, man, let's get into some of these lifts, though. All right, y'all. So on this first clip right here, I'm deadlifting about 315. Um, I just I did my um, warm up already to 315, so I didn't feel like it was worth filming. But yeah, man, I like to um, work out about three to four days a week. I really feel like it's very important. Just good. This would be a good Yu-Gi-Oh player to stay in shape, you know, it helps you your confidence by looking good, feeling good, and it just encourages you to know that if you can pull up about 300 pounds off the ground, there is no reason why you shouldn't be able to go to a tournament and top an event. But yeah, man, 315 is kind of heavy for a lot of um, beginners, but that's something that um, I feel like everybody can reach, especially at a young 20, 17 to 20 year old. So yeah, man, um, hit some dead lifts, y'all. Go out and start. No matter if you starting with um, 135, which is pretty much two big um, poles, on the, not poles on the side, two big wheels on the side, or if you're just starting off at 225, whatever your starting range is, don't not just not work out. We're all majority of guys, people who play this game are men. I, I'm one of those dudes who believe all guys need to hit the gym, man. It just it just overall increases every factor of your life. In this next clip right here, I'm, you guys can see I'm hitting the three. I went up to 350. Um, in this workout, I was just working up to a set of um, 405. It's not my max. My max deadlift is about 480 in a sumo form. For you guys that are um, workout savvy, sumo is just pretty much for you guys that aren't workout savvy, rather. Sumo is pretty much the same lift as the deadlift is, but instead of um, your arms being more outward. Your legs are more spread apart, and then your arms go more inside. It allows you to do an easier lift. I eventually transitioned to do the um, regular standard deadlifts. In this last clip right here, I'm just doing um, 405 for one. I trained the 531 training style by Wendler. If you guys are wondering who are workout savvy, an awesome training style to follow. Very easy, very simple. 
I mean, you're not going to get results fast, but the results and gains you do make um, will last a life, life, life change. And this is good for everyone. Even you female Yu-Gi-Oh players out there who want to work out but just don't know how to start. I mean, building strength is just fundamental for everyday life, man. As you guys can see, I pulled it up pretty no problem. I mean, I've done this before, so it's not. And then this last little workout clip right here. I just show y'all my little um, one set of 155 on the rows. It's always good after you do your major lift, like a deadlift, the bench press, or a squat, to throw in some accessory work to help you guys, um, you know, just build a good foundation for your back. And overall, just get a solid workout. This wasn't my last lift I did. I did I finished the workout with 10 ups. I obviously couldn't feel 10 ups because I didn't feel like bothering nobody to um, film for me, and I didn't have nobody to film um, that lift. So. Yeah, man. Enjoy the rest of the vlog. All right, y'all. So I just finished the gym. I work out right now. I hope y'all enjoyed it. So, yeah, man. I did deadlifts mainly, some um, some rows, and I finished it up with um with some chin ups. I got a lot of shit to do today. My cousin having a wedding, so I just wanted to get a quick workout in before the wedding. But yeah, man. Like I was saying, so Konami officially announced they're gonna be working on technology for. Um, you know, virtual reality recognition, kind of similar to what they've been what they've been doing at the, on the national scene by doing us that VR semi s dual this type of stuff. I think it's pretty awesome. I mean, I predicted this about a year ago because the technology is out there. You just gotta have the money to invest into it. I, I, I originally saw the um, announcement on Mega Capital G, so check them out. But yeah, I mean, I think it's pretty dope what Konami is doing, and hopefully within the next five years we'll get some actual virtual reality Yu-Gi-Oh plan in the form of the um and I doubt we get dual this right away but we'll probably get like the old school Yu-Gi-Oh anime where you play in a stadium you put your card down and the hologram pop pop up I could definitely see that being used for future feature matches for Yu-Gi-Oh there's gonna definitely gonna have to be a lot of programming to go into that and there's definitely gonna be a ha gonna have to be a lot of um you know money to go into that because like that type of stuff is expensive Especially if you're only gonna be using it for like um publicity, because that's always gonna be a, always gonna be a publicity stunt for Konami to um, you know market their game. Then you also have to consider if Konami's gonna want to set it off to match the Gathering and Pokemon, which more than likely they will, depending on if they patent it, patent the technology or not. But yeah, that's my little quick thoughts on that. We'll finish taking y'all on my day and discuss some more Yu-Gi-Oh topics. So we having fun, baby. You hitting the gym, and yeah, man, stay tuned. what is up everybody so yesterday i did give me some gym footage I already uploaded on instagram so y'all will be seeing that in this video of course um yeah man i went to a wedding last night didn't really get to film as much as i wanted to do out the vlog my son had my phone playing that Fortnite. but the thing i want to discuss right now is something that's not really um Yu-Gi-Oh related but it's more gamer related and it's more along the lines of you know what happened in florida well, first of all, shout out. Well, not gonna say shout out. My condolences to anybody who may or may not have lost somebody in that shooting yesterday in Florida. I just think it's kind of crazy because, you know, we're all part of the nerd world, and it seems like no matter what we're part of in this in this day and age, we have to worry about a mass shooting in America. And you know, I don't like getting political, but you know, enough is enough, man. Something needs to get cracked down about these mass shootings. People need therapy or something like, dude, you lost the game of Madden. And you decided just to shoot up the place because you lost. For you guys that don't know what I'm talking about, yesterday in Florida there was a mass shooting about at a Madden tournament because the guy, I guess apparently he lost, so he was so upset he came back and just got the capping people. And it's like, what the fuck, bro? That's, that's scary because like we go to regionals, YCS, nationals, and you can never know, man. You might get that one crazy fucker who just want to shoot up the place because he lost his game of yu gi -Mons. And unfortunately, in the past, somebody did threaten, I'm not going to bring up the guy's name, to shoot up a Yu-Gi-Oh event and then made it seem like he was just joking. And I'm just like, bro, that's not a joking fucking matter. And, you know, even if you are trying to just troll or whatever, or even if, you know, beyond the point. That's not a joking matter, and it's nothing to be talked about as funny. And because stuff like that happens in real life, now you're starting to see stuff like that happens in the nerd world. Even Jason David Frank, you know, the Green Power Ranger, Tommy, he has somebody actually try to come murder him at one of his conventions because I guess he didn't sign something for a guy from years ago, and the guy was so fucking nuts 
he wanted to come and try to like off Tommy the Green Power Ranger. So it's like, man, I, it made me feel like I just want to get a gun and carry one with me everywhere just in case some shit go down. It's, it's just a scary world we live in, man. So man, we all go into these events, man. Just be careful, bro. Keep your eyes and ears open. If you guys see something weird, tell somebody, you know? You can never know, man. That could be the difference between saving someone's life or saving your own life, man. It's a scary world we live in. But hey, man, I just want to talk about that because it was the only thing on my mind at this point in the blog. Is every time I go to a Yu-Gi-Oh event now, my eyes are always open regardless. But they're going to be 10 times more open now because for whatever reason, these fucking lame-ass nerds who probably ain't smelt a hint of pussy in their life get mad because all they have is video games in their world and they just want to shoot up places. It's just sad. I hope the guy's a piece of, the guy's a piece of shit. I hope he rots in hell. And of course he had a typical school shooter haircut like fucking little bowl cut and shit. Like I don't trust motherfuckers with them bowl cuts. But that's beyond the point, man. I ain't trying to make this a joking matter. Just my condolences to his family and um everyone who may have lost somebody. It's, kinda, it's a fucked up situation, man. But right, man, I ain't trying to bring no negativity into the Yu-Gi-Oh world. Hopefully we never have something like this happen in the Yu-Gi-Oh world, but in this day and age, you can never know, man. It's just a sad case of you guys, a sad, sad case. All right, man, so I'm still on my lunch break. I'm about to meet you guys back when I'm heading home and try to discuss some more things, man. This is day two of the vlog. Um, day one, I just got lit and I ain't feel like recording anymore. But yeah, man, it's gonna be a fun vlog. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so welcome to part three. On this third day of this is me trying to record an innovation YGO vlog, Yu-Gi-Oh vlog, etc. I'll add more Yu-Gi-Oh tours in this video. Yesterday's um, filming ended early because I had went to um, get some hibachi with my son and my girl. Let's do it. Oh yeah. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I insert the clips right here. Pretty fun place to go to. It's called New Star in Chicago. Better than Benihana's, mainly because it's cheaper. If you guys have been to Benihana's, you know how good it is. It's just expensive. So, it's my day off from work. Should be able to get this vlog up and done by today and upload it to YouTube today. And yeah, I'm gonna take me some good coffee. Head to the gym. Not gonna record my list because it's light work today because I'm deloading. Deloading is a phrase that really means lifting light to let my muscles get blood flow so I can recover faster. But my, my, one of my favorite places is Backlot back, back, back like Coffee. And I'm about to get this cold brew tonic with a shot of espresso. So fucking good, guys. I gotta show you all this. So good. Alright, guys. So this is Backlot Coffee right here. Pretty good shop. Um, it's on Urban Park 3982, about a blue line. Ironically, it's really close to my um, shop near main game. So I'm not gonna film inside, but I'm gonna go get my coffee and show you guys what it looks like from here. So yeah, man. You guys can see. Cold brew tonic. Fucking fire, bro. Mm. It's pretty much just cold brew concentrate, shot of espresso, and tonic water. Doesn't sound as good for iced coffee, but it's amazing. This donut, I just saw it in there, it looked good. Lemon pistachio. Fucking fun. See y'all in the club. <laughs> so I'm back in um, my backyard, you know, and I feel like I figured I might as well finish off the filming here. Just got in the house and I received this new card in the mail. Shooting Rise of Dragon. I, I did a Shonen Jump promo thing a while ago. You know, that's one thing about people who want to invest in the Yu-Gi-Oh! Always invest into the Shonen Jump promos. You're guaranteed to at least triple your money, if not quadruple your money. Because things like this easily go for 10 bucks, 15 bucks. 
and then the broken ones like link karibo always wind up going for at least 40 to 30 bucks unless they get reprinted but if you can get them when they first come out that's you instantly pay 30 bucks usually the first promo is really good you get your money back then you start making profit it's a slow profit but you start making profit that way but the last thing i want to talk about well yeah let's bring it back to the um beginning of this vlog which was originally you know the augmented reality virtual reality you know stuff that we're gonna be that konami is gonna be developing and that's the image recognition technology now that stuff is so complex it's ridiculous but like i mentioned earlier in the video it definitely needs a solid programming to do because think about it over 9,000 Yu Gi Oh cards, bro. I mean, you gotta find somebody to program and um, distinguish all of that stuff within the algorithm of the um, of the development because they're developing, you know, systematic scanning so we can look at something as image recognition technology. Then once they perfect that and they get into the whole virtual reality concept of doing it like how it was in an actual TV show. Then they got to design the layout of how they want the monsters to come out, how they want the battle effects. I mean, we probably realistically, the te technology's in development now. Probably won't get it for another 10, 15 years to be 100% consumer ready. Might get a few prototypes within the next five years or so. Konami's already developing us a, their basic, basic prototype for the Yu-Gi-Oh! World Championships with the character duels, which is like one time event a year which is probably very expensive to make. So I can just imagine um, them rolling this out to like YCS. And then if you even want to make it um, a little bit more funner for Yu-Gi-Oh players, bring it to like a regionals and make like the regional feature matches if we could ever get those things running. Be like um, virtual reality. You know, the, the, the concept is out there and I think it's a pretty good, cool thing to look into. So that being said, man, um, post your thoughts and opinions about this vlog in the comment section down below. And do you guys like the new microphone? Hoping the audio is 10 times better. So, you know, I really much made this video to not only play with my audio with, with the new microphone, but I wanted to see if you guys enjoyed the actual concept. It's me living my everyday life, man. So, with all that being said, once again, this is Innovation YGO bringing guys another awesome Yu Gi Oh! vlog. I'm signing out. Peace.